Welcome to iLecture Online and here we have an example of how to take the cross product between two vectors a and b but in a general sense so this is a general format of how we find the cross product it's the matrix i j k the x y and z components of a and the x y and z components of b and we have the subscripts 1 2 and 3 to represent the x y and z components of the vectors now how do we work this out well, we take the first element right here in the matrix, so this is equal to the i unit vector times, now think about it, if you, if you get rid of this column right here and this row, you have these four elements left, you're going to multiply these two elements and subtract the product of these two elements. So this is going to become i times a2 times b3 minus a3 times b2. And now we take the second element, but this becomes negative. So we go plus, minus, plus. So this becomes minus the unit vector in the y direction times. Now you get rid of this column and this row that leaves you with these four elements. So you multiply these two elements to subtract when you multiply those two elements. So a1 times b3 minus the product of these two elements. Remember, you got rid of this column. In this row, when you take the J component over here, so it's A1, B3, minus A3, B1. And finally, you take the, this component right here, which is plus K times, now you get rid of this column, and this row that leaves you with these four elements, so you, product, you multiply these two together, which is A1, B2, minus the product of these two elements, which is A2, b1 and this then becomes the cross product so you can then say that a cross b is equal to the vector c which is now defined by i times a2 b3 minus a2 b1 and this is then the definition of how you find the cross product of two vectors, which therefore gives you another vector which has an i, a j, and a k component, an x, y, and a z component, and that's how you find the components. Now in the next video, we'll actually take real two real vectors and go through this process to see how you find the cross product, but that's the methodology you're going to use.